All right, another new setup. It's a different one every video at the moment. Right, as you can see by the title, how I made $350,000 in 259 seconds. The story of no two ways. So today I'm gonna take you through how it went from an idea in my brain to this, this real thing. <laughs> And obviously, as you guys know, I am a uh, Google Pixel 5 user. It's been with me throughout the entire process. Big shout out to the Pixel team for supporting me in making this video because this is also an ad for Google Pixel 5. If you're interested in starting your own business or you're just intrigued as to how two kids went and started their own trainer brand, then this is the video for you. Today we're going to be talking about a couple of things. We're going to talk about design, manufacture, marketing, the process of selling, and the future. Now the real ones amongst you will know that it's not just me in no two ways. Uh, I have someone else, a very talented young man called Rockwell. So I'm going to call Rocky on Duo. It's basically a video calling uh, service, but on 5G, the quality is nuts. Like HD. All right, here we go. Let's give me a little ring. What's up, brother? You're actually in front of a camera right now. Can you see that? Oh, snap. I'm doing a story of no two ways today. And you're obviously quite an incremental part of that. So I hope you're free today because I'm going to periodically call you and shove you here in front of the camera. It's all good with me, man. All good. <laughs> right. So the objective was to create my own shoe. But obviously, I couldn't do that on my own. So I was uh, throwing stuff out into the universe to try and find the person that, uh, that could help me do that and it was you. So I found my guy. I'm going to put guy down. Look at this, Casey Neistat-esque. <laughs> so I'd found you and I was like, how much money uh, am I going to put into this? And what was the number that I originally gave you? Wasn't it like 30k max? It was 30k max, yes. <laughs> how wrong we were. <laughs> right, I put down what did we want to make. So what was the kind of style that I wanted to go for at the beginning? It was like comfortable, technical, colorful. Yeah, yeah. very colorful, right? It was like, it was like this colourful, right? <laughs> All colours of the rainbow, you know. And you brought me back down to earth because we had to make something that was like good for the fashion world, like the real world. Like we couldn't just make one or two pairs and have it for ourselves. Like we had to get them done for everyone. And so obviously I am not uh, the design guy in, in this. You will do a way better job talking about the shoes. So could you talk briefly about the design? I mean... One of the first things we looked at, I think, was ourselves, you know? Like, I looked at your kind of style, the kind of shoes you wear, I looked at what I wear, because I wanted to have my own influence in it, of course. And one of the key things that we, I think, before even getting to the design, was the comfortability of the shoes. Because we're always commuting, we're always just running around the place. And on top of that, of course, we were going to have some color, but we couldn't just have like six, seven colors in that shoe. I, I got there in the end. I, I did get the color in. Why don't we talk about the unique selling points? All right, USPs, look at us. All professional. <laughs> <laughs> Our USPs, yeah, I mean, we had to look at Right, so things such as, for example, the price point, finding the right balance between luxury and high street. So kind of like, yeah, where did we sit between Lux, short for luxury, and, uh, and high street, yeah? And based on, off of that, we are, the next thing we could look at is the material quality. So here, like, what, kind, what level of quality could we bring to our consumers for the, for the price point that we've chosen? We were going to offer them the best of the best, of course, but on a sustainable level at the same time. Yeah, sustainability, a very, very important point, uh, which I also share with Google themselves, because Pixel 5 is designed with the environment in mind. One of the other things was technicality slash complexity of the design. Uh, how crazy could we go with it? People love complex shoes, complex designs, but in a way that it's still organized, you know? So I call it complex simplicity. No, go on then, mate, go on. <laughs> Pulling out your own sayings in the YouTube vid, okay. So we have all our technical details, all these different mixed materials that makes the shoe what it is, really. What was the initial time frame that I gave you? Uh, I think it was something ridiculous. But you wanted to release in April already. Four months. Uh, 
Yeah, that wasn't gonna happen. At some of these points, when I gave you these really unrealistic things, like make a bunch of shoes for 30K in four months, did you like, did you just say yes to things, but you knew that like I'd learn over time? In my head, I was like, this guy's asking me some, to do something crazy. We gotta try, I'm not gonna say no. Like, let's try it. I'm gonna write this really big and really awkwardly on the page. It's the word, Trends, something that I really didn't want to do that much of. Like, I didn't care what anyone else did. Like, just go and make your own thing, right? But I slowly discovered that it was actually really important. It was very important. How could we get people talking about our shoe and it doesn't come across as merch or anything like that? I completely agree. That was like one of my main things. How do we create something that breaks out of the mold of like YouTube merch? Knowing that we were going to release within this year, we needed to look at all the relevant trends that are going on in the spring summer 20 and uh, what could we add quickly to our design so that's when we added things such as the translucent elements the reflective details you know these kind of little things and we must not forget about innovation what can we add to get the people talking what can we add what did we add that's the main question the things such as the heel cage the tongue construction individually hand embroidered details keeping the eye state stitched to the upper i think that we did a splendid job talking about the design. Now, in my opinion, this next section is like one of the most interesting because we basically want to show you the prototype. So what our first shoe looked like up to the, uh, the, the final one that got released. Proto one. Look at that sample, not for commercial use. Number one, number one. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> one of the hardest bits you know, was finding the actual, the right suppliers and the right factory that followed all our standards. Because the design itself wasn't easy. It wasn't something that they recognized, you know, the construction and how it was made, all the different pieces. I'm gonna move on to number two. All right, Proto 2, coming in hot. So for this one, I think the general shape was a lot better. We were kind of talking back and forwards between like that runner look or like the more chunkier look, right? That was kind of the debate we were having. Proto number three. Oh, it's taking shape. It's changed. This is our final outsole. Combination of uh, responsive phylum, some good rubber on the bottom. So it lasts a bit longer, a bit more dur durability. And we spent a couple of months trying to get this density right for this phylum. You know, a lot of trial and error. And uh, you might be able to see the old suede got replaced with our sustainably sourced one. And you might be able to notice that there's a reflective detail going around the, the overlay piece on the side. But the factory, in the end, were worried about this in mass production, so we got rid of it. So yeah, it's really starting to take shape. We had that yellow uh, pull tab at the back. We hadn't quite uh, maneuvered our way onto the, the next one, which I'm going to show right now. Proto number four. We have our recycled rubber details, finally, on the eyelet and on the back pull tab. The, you know, the big orange one that everyone recognizes. It's all coming together now. It's all starting to look like the dream. It's time. Proto 5, done. So we have thicker laces, metal lace tips, you know, the translucent webbing finished slightly earlier and we got rid of those horrible X's on the side. I am glad that they're gone, but um, uh, I'm, I'm also sad. But, uh, but they did make it a little bit childish, I'm not gonna lie. So yes, the design itself was done. That's only half of it. We still need to do chemical tests, physical tests, durability tests, you know, various stages of grading and make sure it looks and fits how it should. Thank you for your help on the video. Any final words for the camera? Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. Okay. Right, design done. Manufacture done. Time to go have a break. All right, I've got my coffee. I've got my pano. I'm getting powered up. Um, but I just wanted to speak to you guys quickly about 5G on Pixel 5. There's been times in the past where I've been like out and about in London, whether I'm tethering to my laptop or just on my mobile, and I just don't have signal or I'm streaming something and it's breaking up because I'm on 4G or 3G. Well, now 5G exists and I've been using it on Pixel 5 for, well, since it's come out and it's incredible. I've seen speeds in other places in London that are like 200, 300 meg, which is actually like almost as fast as my home internet. 5G is a madness. It's on Pixel 5. I legitimately can't imagine life without it. That sounds kind of cheesy, but I'm being deadly serious. Now I can just tether and do whatever I want. But yeah, anyway, I got, I got a coffee to drink. I need to recharge and that. So, the trainer exists. Now we need to tell people about it, uh, otherwise it won't sell. So, marketing, very, very important. We decided to concentrate on one social media platform, and then we decided to make some films, some adverts, basically. And I haven't actually told Ben that he's gonna appear in this video. Uh, I'm gonna let him explain. The genius behind basically all the content that we put out. 
Thanks, Cal. So what happens is Cal and Rocky call me up and they say, here's the trainer. I've seen you do this loads throughout the day, so I'm, here's the trainer. I've just come up with an idea that summarizes everything that this trainer is that fits inside a 60 second social post. With this trainer, the first one, obviously the brand wasn't established. They had no money. We had no budget really. And I was like, let's do a little probe thing. So we did the little probe shoot, close up DLs of all the stuff. The next one we did was selling the lifestyle of the people who wear the trainers. We want to give an idea of who we think would wear this. They give me the second trainer. It's water resistant, it's got Nubuck. All these terms I'm learning, I know nothing about trainers. But what I found funny about this one was that Rocky listed off all of these features, things I can't even remember what they are. And I was like, how am I ever gonna get that into an ad that anyone understands? I wanted to highlight how much thought goes into every element of this design. So the film imagines that we're in Rocky's head and we're thinking about how everyone will notice all of these features, which like people don't. And that's what's so great about the design is that it all works so effortlessly that you don't even realize all of these things are working together. And then for the main film for that, I wanted to take the idea of it being made for London. There's obviously a long list of things that make London great and then we landed on grime because that's something that we've all grown up with and just have some fun and that's the main thing about these shoots taking a band and making a grime track with a sick grime artist in a car wash and it's what makes working with a startup so enjoyable and yeah I'm currently working on yeah yeah be quiet be quiet be quiet be quiet get out of the shot I basically just saw this entire thing as a massive jigsaw puzzle fit all of them together and you get a finished product so uh, the final thing on the marketing list was photos and I am lucky enough to have been introduced to an incredibly talented uh, guy called Hewan. Here are some of the photos that he shot. They are sick, but Hewan's not in the country right now. And in a couple of days, I have this secret publication that I need photos for. I'm gonna go out with my Pixel 5 and take some photos using Night Sight. So I have my two lovely models. Michael and India, who you might have seen before on some of the last shoots. I've just more. met you, what are you talking about? Okay, yeah. moving on. We've got all the lighter photos, so the ones in the daytime. Now it's my job with Pixel 5 to grab the low light ones. That's good, bro. That looks like a professional shot. Yeah. You're a star too. Aww. Jeez. Jeez. That blue police light that went past perfect timing. <laughs> Chapter four. Can you read my handwriting, by the way? I hope, I hope you can. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I had no idea how we'd do, whether we'd sell any. And you know, from the very beginning, there was a, a discussion around how many we should buy. 3,000 pairs was the minimum order quantity that we'd kind of been told by certain factories around the world. I didn't think I'd be able to sell that many. So in the end, we went with uh, 750. I didn't really realize like all of the hard work that would have to go into it or all of the little things that would take so much time before release. I don't think I had a day off for, I don't know, maybe like five weeks before launch. Every single day, including weekends, 12, 16 hours a day, making sure that everything was perfect. So going into the actual day, they sold out in 63 seconds. It's unbelievable. It was just so overwhelming. Even on the day, I had to finish editing the video that was gonna go up later that night. We had to send out over 100 draft orders to friends. We're the ones setting the, the website lives. Make sure the social posts went up. Make sure that everyone knew, like if they've been following the journey on that final day, they knew that they were going on sale at 6 p.m. And, and this all might sound like kind of obvious, but there's two of us and we had to do everything. There are big companies around the world that would hire about 50 people to do the stuff that we did. And because we're working up to this, uh, literally the second they go on sale, I have no opportunity to take any of it in. It was just so instant. I don't know how I felt. It was just crazy, it just adrenaline dumped, overwhelmed, like all of this lead up. Nine months of hard work, gone in 63 seconds. It's a good gone, but it's still gone. <laughs> And then it's on to number two. We upped the order quantity to um, 2,100. But we'd been for it once. We knew what to expect. Bigger quantity, again, didn't really know if we were gonna sell out. We did in 186 seconds. Nuts. I think the reason why we sold out in 186 seconds is what I said earlier. This is my puzzle, okay? When all of these pieces are in place, the job is done. That doesn't tell you much, 
But it's a mixture of everything. I think they sold out so fast because we made a great product. We made some cool films. We took some great photos. We love working with each other. And not to take all the credit away from what we've done, but I was the first to do it. There's a reason why. It's really, really hard to make shoes. It's really expensive, but it's fucking worthwhile. So, the bit you've probably been waiting for. $350,000 in 259 seconds. Been very honest with you on this channel recently. It almost cost exactly this amount to do those first two drops. But with that being said, I've built an amazing business. It's going to become more profitable, I think, on the next one, as soon as that. And for anyone to be profitable in the first year of your company being alive is incredible. Oh, and also, I forgot to add, uh, I didn't get like a bit of investment. I've, this is, this is all my money. It's all my money. But hopefully one day, no two ways will be on the corner of Oxford Street and you'll all be able to come there. Even though drop one and drop two are now out there, we still need social posts. So my idea for a social post today is to grab all of the prototypes, take some portrait mode photos with a nice little London skyline, and then like have one after the other so you can kind of see the progression. Because we haven't, I think we've done it in like illustrated form, but not actual banging studio quality photos. I need a long arm, so I've drafted JJ in to be my long arm so I can take some sick photos. What, what's the leg stance for? Oh, I'm just showing off my own no two ways. Oh yeah. Three, two, one, hold still. Woo! Crispy. Process. <laughs> oh, a little bit of night sight was added to that. It recognised that the shoe was black, so I needed to like process it a little bit more. Poppers. They're actually all poppers. GG Pixel. Thank you, JJ. A quick one about the future. The dream is to release five or six different designs next year in 2021. It's also important for me to keep them affordable and attainable, which is a lovely segue into another product which is incredible value for money. You've seen how it kind of helps me on my day to day with business, with life. Google Pixel 5. If you like what you see, I'll stick a link in the description down below for you to go and buy it. And just before I go, let me show you one thing. It's 7.22 in the evening. As you've seen, I've been on Duo with Rocky. I've been out and about connected to 5G. I've done a little photo shoot and we're still on 31%. Today's been pretty intense. So yeah, it's great. No Two Ways is great. I hope you enjoyed the video. And just in case you forgot, this is a paid promotion from Google Pixel. Anyway, I'm gonna go home and recharge my battery. Unlike Pixel 5, I hope that this inspired some of you to give your side hustle a go. If you're still here, click the like button, uh, subscribe if you're new around here. Links will be down below for Pixel 5, and I'll see you on the next one.